Hello and congratulations. You have completed your rehabilitation programme. Although it might be the end of your programme, it is the beginning of the rest of your life. Welcome to Life After Rehab. the importance of self-management and making a commitment to long-term exercise which is crucial. We have our daily rehab plus maintenance sessions but as you'll see exercise doesn't have to take place in the gym, it can take place anywhere. Two months time I'll be right. and I don't see anywhere near. People think I'm in the 70s. But I feel like I do now because of you teaching me. If it wasn't for doing all these exercises and the courses that you do, I wouldn't be like I am now. And so I think that this place must be one of the best in the country. I've been here for about 10 years. Mostly speak well and the friendship as well, you know, company. Um, as I say, it's fairly fit. I, I come to Real Plus um, to support my husband and um, I'm a Buddha here as well um, to give a little bit back of what they did for my husband and um, we just love coming here um, because it's like a big family. I originally come here through the doctor because I was getting out of breath and I can't handle big crowds because I've got anxiety so coming here help me breathing now, it's still not, not, still not brilliant but it's helping meet people, I have a laugh um, it's helping me with my anxiety as well, get across this is a safe space because I'm comfortable here and the staff are excellent I had a bit of an illness and I ended up in hospital and they uh, referred me here because I needed help. I mean mobility and breathing and a lot of health issues. I just couldn't get myself back on my feet. And what have you done while you've been here? I've uh, been through the programme at the start, mm -hmm. which was then helpful and it was sort of making slight progress which I was really pleased with. From then I went on to this side of it, which is now, and I come once a week and I've really progressed since I've been coming in. It's slow, admittedly, but I'm getting there and I'm a lot fitter, a lot better. Hi, my name's Sue Gudger. Um, I've been coming to the group for quite a number of years now. Um, I've done both two courses. Um, I asked to come to the group because I've got um, a chronic chest disease and rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and obviously my oxygen levels are dropping now, so that's uh, another concern that I've got to look towards. But I really enjoy coming and I do get something from it. Some weeks are better than others for me, but all the same the staff are very supportive. And it's a very social group and I enjoy coming. Everybody's always smiling, and I believe there's a notice that if you can't smile, you don't come in.
my job roles is that I deliver out um, exercise in the community and one of them exercises is Tai Chi and basically uh, Tai Chi is really good for balance, core stability, um, it really helps if you've got depression and anxiety um, and it's a slow moving exercise that works the joints obviously mobilises joints and it really does help with um, weight transference and balance. So um, if you do get the opportunity to engage in, in a Tai Chi session or a Tai Chi class that's out in the communities, um, I really do feel you will benefit from that. And if you do want any further information regarding Tai Chi classes, then you can contact me at the Hub Specialist Service 313 Sylvia is a chair paced uh, classes on a Friday morning. Um, we get a lot of advantages from that. Apart from the exercises, we get a lot of advantages from the social side. Um, we do go out for meals, we have bus trips, but it's the chair based exercise that's mainly um, the main thing that we do on a Friday. Um, you probably would like to know that I've had two knee replacements and Afterwards, uh, within a few weeks, I was back doing chair-based exercises and I found it very beneficial. Um, I think it helps to keep you fit, helps to keep you slim and not too greedy. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. We have a really happy group. We have lots of laughs as well as exercises. A little sing-along sometimes. And it's all very, very pleasant. Um, I also do a class on a Tuesday, which is more advanced. Uh, it's mostly, well it's all standing really. Um, and several of those ladies have had knee replacements as well and they're all of an age, you know, more or less the same age as uh, me. <laughs> um, I'm 81 and I really think that keeping exercising has kept me supple and on the move. Um, so I hope this has been useful for you and that you'll come along some classes and join in and enjoy it. Dave Rudd. I've been fishing with the 
Codgers for eight, nine years now. Uh, I'm 72 next Monday. I cut out Sylvia. I'm a volunteer for the Oak Trust. I'm also on the trustee board. Last year I took a, co a angling course to become a grade one instructor to teach people on the way to fish. Uh, to me fishing you can't beat it. You're in the fresh air and whether you're catching fish of two or three ounces or you're catching fish of four or five pounds, it's still fishing. It gets you out of the house, you're in the fresh air when you're fishing. Forget everything else, all your rules, all your worries, all you're worried about is watching that float go under and wonder what size fish we're off to get at the end of it. Uh, hi, uh, my name's Paul. I'm 74 years of age. Uh, I've been fishing for all oh, loads of years. Can't remember it's that far gone. Uh, it's something to get out. It's peace and quiet, surroundings, nature. It's just the enjoyment of, of being away and and just the peacefulness of it all. Tell us a little bit about the fishing and how that helps with you. The fishing, I get out a lot. And with the lads, because I can't breathe a lot, they come and cut me gear around for me. And it's nice to be out in the fresh air. And how long have you been with the group, Alan? Uh, just over five years. Yeah. Hello, my name's Paul. I've had uh, COPD and chest problems uh, all my life. Uh, that's 67 years now, um, I started uh, with the Rehab uh, Plus at Hope, Hope Street, um, a, about two years ago, and then I heard about the fishing uh, section, and I joined that, uh, because it gets you out in the fresh air, gets you some exercise, gets you to meet like-minded people. And it's a bit of fun as well, there's the thrill of the chase. And being out in the fresh air with a bit of exercise does somebody with chest problems the world of good. I'm Bill Forrester. I'm 76 years old. And I come to fishing because I love it. And it gets me out of the house. And all people around here you talk to, they all give you good advice. And talk to people and recently I had a new hip or seven weeks ago I'm standing up walking around. I'm 79 years old uh, and enjoy me fishing I love me fishing and and this club I've been with this club now with 11 years and it's fantastic it's got me out of the house it's got me somewhere to go it is a club we pick the, pick the venues where we go and it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to give it up. <laughs> and have you made new friends when you've been oh, coming? All the anglers, we're all, we're all mates, we help each other, we pack up together, and we, we come together more or less. And, and, and that's how, what we are, we're a club. Hmm. But we don't do it for prizes or anything like that. It's just a club of old people with a lot of complications.